Hi everyone, Lydia Lee here, and today I'm having a conversation with a lovely 90 day launch student, Shaira Ali, uh, who is a self-professed introvert that has learned meaningful ways to build her business by honoring what I call her quiet power. Uh, so I wanted to jump on a call with Shaira today because I believe that you know sharing the process of how we build a meaningful business that suits our genius zone is immensely helpful to others, but also seeing behind the scenes of for what works, you know, for someone that's launching a new business. So thank you for coming on board and joining me for this conversation, Shira. Thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. It will be fun. Well, let's start by telling people about your business, like who you help, what you help with, and why you're really passionate about doing the work that you want to do. Okay, so to be honest with you, it took me a while to kind of nail this down <laughs> and figure out how do you say this in quick, you know, and make it, you know, so basically what I do is I help new and struggling landlords manage their businesses with more ease, help to manage their property, take the stress, the struggle out of it, and just make it a lot easier. Most, most landlords do not want to be full-time property managers, so... <laughs> They, they really don't, right? They want to purchase the properties. They want to have that income, but they don't, that's not what they want their full-time job to be. So I help them kind of take back their time, take control. And yeah, we work together to set that up. Awesome. And what was your biggest motivation to start this business? Like, I know that you came from that industry, but there's also a lot of things in your industry that you're like, if I was in charge, I wouldn't do it that way. Or I would do something different in how I prepare my clients or support my clients, you know? So what, what is, what was your biggest motivation? Like on a personal level, like why you wanted to start a business and what do you think, how do you think you can make a difference in the industry you've chosen? Okay, so to be honest with you, again, I really, <laughs> I really wasn't, um, I thought I was just going to do the real estate investing. I'm an investor, mm. my, I purchased property, I thought that was going to be it for me. But I knew that there was something more, something was missing. I wasn't, it wasn't fulfilling me in the way I thought it would. So I figured that I found you <laughs> and I said, let me try this out to really figure out what it is because I, I want to be energized with what I do. I want to mm -hmm. be um, just really, um, I enjoy mentoring and training and helping, you know, that's like, I light up when I'm doing that. So right. that's how I kind of fell into this. So originally this wasn't my plan. Um, but <laughs> why not? Right. Why not? It makes sense. I think I'm good at it. This is what I do when I'm in my corporate position mm. and I have the time to, you know, right now I'm training someone new. This is where I light up. I wish this was right. more of what I was doing. And since I don't have that there, I created it. So, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I love that you took an opportunity and, and analyze your skill set. Like, you know, we, we are always thinking about, you know, freedom and, and financial freedom. Right. And I think it's good to combine that with investing. That is what you're doing on the side. And then also you want to express yourself. You want to contribute in a meaningful way that might be beyond yeah. just a financial freedom purpose. Right. But the intention yes. to just really support people with something that you really care about. Right. Right. Yeah. And I am a really heart, I'm going to call myself a heart centered landlord. I care <laughs> about the people I care about, you know, maybe I'm not, I don't cross the line, but I, I do care about them. I know about yeah. their family. I know, you know, I just, I like that. I I'm the one that gives the gifts and the, mm. I enjoy that. So I, I think that a lot of times people think there's a struggle landlord tenant, Everybody's right. working together. It's a common goal. One cannot survive without the other. So mm. really, I just kind of want to show people that, you know, it's not you against them. You can do it and work together and you can have a, a great relationship and you don't have to have all the nightmare stories. Um, mm -hmm. I want to talk a little bit about sort of what... What were you going through before coming on board to work with me at 90 Day Launch? What, like, what were some of the things that you tried to do um, as you contemplated being a business owner? Maybe you tried a couple of different things or contemplated for years and didn't take action, right? What were some of the things that you tried doing um, before, you know, before you came on 90 Day Launch and what didn't work for you? So really what I was trying, I didn't even know what I wanted. I really didn't. I didn't. This process helped me figure out what I wanted, like really figured out me, really. Mm -hmm. I learned me. And it's crazy to say that I've learned so much about me in this past like seven months 
than I've ever known about myself in my lifetime. I mean, I'm serious. Wow. It showed me so much. I've learned I can overcome certain things. You, you're, I, I'm tested in a way that I've never been in my corporate position ever. Mm. Um, yeah, it's crazy. It's like, I never thought I needed therapy. And this has been like, like I never <laughs> thought. But I'm like, something is wrong with you. Like it's, you know, you really find out so much about yourself. So mm. I really didn't know what I want wanted at that point. And I'm just a person that um, I love to learn. So I'm always listening to podcasts, watching videos on YouTube, where I found you. And I'm just, I'm always just learning that way. So that's what happened. I I came to one of your, um, your webinars and I just wanted to, I was just, I just knew something was missing. I just wanted to find it. So really that's what I was doing. Mm. And I love that, you know, you kind of like all the learning was good, but as I have spoken about in the past, like over learning can be a a form of self-sabotage, right? When learning doesn't marry with action, right? Is that we can be stuck in this safe place. Yeah. Nothing's risked just yet. You you aren't seen, you can't be judged, you can't be rejected. Right. And I think a lot of the deep work we got to do together is actually allowing you to know that you have enough learning and actually just get get back to taking action, taking Mm -hmm. micro imperfect action, you know, towards making that work for you. So I want to kind of learn a bit more about like what has been the most valuable thing you've learned so far, right? Being in the program, being a business owner, like whether it's crafting your offer or testing your ideas or sharing your vision, what, what are some of the valuable things that you've learned in the last seven months? The most important thing, hands down, mindset. Mindset. Mm-hmm. That has been, you can craft all the offers you want. You can, you can do all of those things. If you don't have the right mindset, I don't know where you're going to be, honestly. And that's, Mm -hmm. that's been the biggest hurdle for me to overcome is the mindset. You've always told yourself, I've told myself for years, I'm not good at technology. I'm not good at, I built my website. I mean, I did that myself, you know? So that's a lot for someone who told myself all those years, you can't do this and just hand it off to someone else. Um, right. I've told myself I cannot, um, I wouldn't like to show up on video before I wouldn't show up on video. <laughs> no, I didn't like it. You know, I didn't right. even our first call, it was a video call and I'm right. like, okay, you know, I, all right, I'll get on here. But <laughs> that's like, it's, those are the things telling yourself whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. You know, that's mm. what they say. So mindset has been the biggest thing to really believe you can do it you have something to say yes people want to hear what you have to say because for a long time I told myself they don't want to hear what I have to say Mm. yeah yeah I even remember like in one of our first phone calls you were like but there's already other people doing this like who am I to do this right and there's I think a lot of people feel that way it's like you know if there's someone out there doing what I'm doing I'm not allowed to do that, right? But I think the in the process of developing yourself and know finding your voice and knowing that you have amazing things to share in that niche, you know, and and that you will always be unique because you are you, and there's no one, no other Shira Ali <laughs> in the world, right? Right. So that's what you had to you really um, impress that upon me because I can have all the designations. I have certified property manager. I have my license. I have all of these things that I have behind my name, and t- you know letters behind my name and still didn't have the confidence Mm. that's a mindset thing yeah I have the confidence here and doubt here you know so yeah yeah like Like two angel and devil yeah and then I'm like oh I don't know can you but yet my company sees me worthy enough right to, Mm. to do it right it's just such a it's such a mindset thing it's a mindset thing you have to have that right Mm. I want to talk a little bit about this introverted thing, because a lot of people who are introverts can be really afraid to launch a business because they believe that you have to be an extrovert and you have to shout it from the rooftops to say, hello, I am a business owner and you should come and work with me. And I have, you know, funny enough, 80% of my clients are introverts. So I know introverts can launch a business. Uh, But, you know, as an introvert person, you know, you you obviously have, um, you know, bypassed a lot of your fears around, for example, 
example, jumping on calls to do those market research interviews, which were so revealing mm-hmm. on the things that mm-hmm. you should be helping with. Um, you learned how to talk to people when you didn't believe that was something you could do, right? Like who would talk to me? Why would they do this for me? Um, and then you've also, you know, tested certain things with humans before you started to go out there and mm-hmm. you know, do it a hundred percent. And then, right, recently you've, you, you're in the process of launching a new podcast, right? Like even mm-hmm. that particular task, um, like, what do you think, you know, is your, like, how have you allowed yourself to be an introvert, right? Honor that, that power that you have and use it to make choices in the things that you're creating right now, like your podcast and, you know, the, the things that you're serving your clients on. So what I'm going to, what my answer to this is lean into your strengths. So even though I'm an introvert, I still have strengths. I still, so why is it that after 5 PM, I I can't talk to anyone when I talk to people all day long, this is my job, you know? So I have to lean into those things. I had to lean into my strengths. And recently I just took a strength, strength finder. Um, Yep. Yeah. I just did one of those to really understand what my strengths are. So I can kind of lean into those more, you know, maybe I don't like talking to a whole group of people, but I can sit here and talk to you and I can talk to my microphone up, you know, like sitting there, like doing my podcast. That's fine. I can do that, you know? So find what your strengths are. I, you know, I don't want all of the, you know, I, I like our group because it's a smaller group um, and the people in there are just, they're just kind people. They're just nice people. So you can lean into those things. You don't have to be out there and be, you know, wild and crazy. So that's not me. And I know that and it's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I love that yeah. you're, you know, you, you didn't avoid, you know, things like marketing or talking to people. You just chose the way you wanted to do it. Right. Did. And that was really Smaller important. Groups. Yeah. One to one. Smaller groups, one to one. Yeah. Intimacy is really important for introverts. Like as long as you like curate that environment, all of a sudden you're in your zone. Right. But if you start to be in environments that aren't right for your personality type, that's when I think we self-doubt, you know, and feel a bit of like um, non-courage when we show up in places we don't belong. (laughs) Right. Right. Or we feel we don't belong. You know, right. That's our feeling, you know, that they didn't feel that no one else is saying, oh, she doesn't belong here. You're telling yourself <laughs> that, right? Right. So, yeah. Yeah. That's love what that. that's love the way that. I get around it. Mm-hmm. Mm, I love it. Um, I want to ask you, if you were to describe, you know, your experience being a part of the 90 launch program and the community, what would you say? Oh, the group. The group is wonderful. They've been so welcoming. I, you know, I remember even telling you, oh, I don't know. Like I want, I had something that happened and I was like, oh, should I post it? And you're like, post it in the group, share it with everyone. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, what if they don't respond? What if they don't, you know, <laughs> they did. And they were so, I mean, so welcoming, so willing to help. I mean, it's a group of people who want to help other people. So they're, they're going to, yeah. they want to help you. Right. Um, so that's been great. It's just been, they're a very encouraging group. Um, I should say we, we, I'm a part of the yes. group. So we are an encur- encouraging group. Um, everyone really just wants to help. They want to help. They want to see you succeed. So that's been just, I like that. I, I like feeling welcome. I like feeling, you know, like people are there to support you. So, yeah, I think that the, the, what makes this, the, the community really special is not just the fact that I'm mentoring there, but we have this collective intelligence of people that come from different backgrounds, different skill sets. And I think it, it's almost like a bit of a staging area, right? When someone's like, I have a, a free workbook I want to share, or I want to launch this offer, but I'm not really sure if it's clear enough. Like there's a safe place for you to get feedback for people to go, Hey, this works or this mm-hmm. doesn't work. And then you feel a little bit more confident when you actually launch it to the official public public world that has been validated by real humans. Yep. I agree. I agree. And that's where that was kind of my stepping stone. And then I said, Mm. okay, now I can let me go out here, you know, outside yeah. of the walls, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. It's so wonderful to have witnessed your journey so far for the last seven months of, you know, all these sorts of doubt that can happen in the beginning of launching yeah. a business to what you've learned, not just about your business, but this therapeutic awareness, yes. <laughs> you know, about yes. yourself. And I always say the first year of business is like 10 years of therapy. So, you know, in a good way, right? Like we, we will never know ourselves more than, um, you know, 
if we were to do something different on our own and, and, and trust ourselves and be accountable, right, to the dreams that we have. Um, now, Shira, if people are interested to learn more about your work, maybe they could actually really use your services as someone who mentors, um, you know, property managers and landlords to do it well and do it with ease. Yeah. How do people find more about your work? So the easiest place right now is going to be either email me. So my email is info at reichicks.com um, or visit my website, reichicks.com. So I do, I'm working on social media. I'm still in that process, but yeah, that's the easiest way to get in touch with me. And don't forget your podcast is also coming up. So that is definitely it's an coming. avenue that people can really learn yes. about what you do. So if you go on the website in due time, you're going to post a podcast. Uh, yes. We will post the links. It'll show up on the video when I edit this. And then also, of course, we'll put it on your um, your blog feature as well. So yeah, anytime that you want to get in touch with Shira, thank her for this interview as well. Uh, I'm sure she'll be happy to hear from you. Thanks, Shira. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. You too.